Are you thinking about getting a Boston Terrier, but you're concerned about possible health issues related to the breed? In this video, I'm gonna cover the health issues related to Boston Terriers. Be sure to stay till the end, because I'm gonna give you three things that you should be asking your Boston breeder before you pick up your puppy. Coming up. Hey everybody, welcome to the Boston Terrier Society YouTube channel. Be sure to hit like and subscribe if you're someone who wants to learn more about the breed, learn what it's like to be an owner, hear expert interviews, as well as connect with other Boston Terrier lovers just like yourself. I'm Donnie Gardner, the founder of bostonterriersociety.com. This is Bella, my Boston of over 10 years, and in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about the health issues related to Bostons. Before we get started, what I wanna do is cover what other Boston Terrier owners have said about the breed. I went ahead and pulled the Boston Terrier Society Facebook community as well as the Twitter community and the overwhelming responses have been, yes, their Boston Terrier is healthy. Here's the Facebook poll, as you can see. Would you say your Boston Terrier has been a general healthy dog? Overwhelming response was yes. And here, same thing on Twitter. So now you have a perspective of what other Boston Terrier owners say about their Boston as far as the overall health. Now I wanna bring in the American Kennel Club they basically highlight four major health issues with Boston Terriers. The first one being eye problems, anything from cataracts, ulcers to glaucoma. The second health issue being deafness within the breed. The third health issue being patellar luxation, simply slipping of the knee. And the fourth health issue highlighted by AKC is their flat face. With flat faces, it just means they could have breathing issues. I've seen other Boston Terrier owners talk about having surgery on their Boston because of their flat nose, just making it difficult to breathe. It also causes them to overheat easily. So if you have them outside in hot temperatures, that could be very detrimental to your Boston's health. As far as my personal story with Bella, you know, now she's a senior Boston Terrier and really has no health issues. The only thing that we've ever had was whenever, uh, this was several years ago, Bella started losing some of her hair, started developing a rash. Come to find out once we took her to the vet that she had a grain sensitivity. This has been the only major health issue, just her sensitivity to grain. We switched her diet and everything cleared up. We didn't have to do anything special. I've talked to other Boston Terrier owners. It seems like this breed in general does have skin sensitivities. This could be anything, well, like Bella had that grain sensitivity. Boston Terriers using different shampoos and developing rashes. Also, the flea and tick medication that Emily and I use, we use Revolution. I talked to other owners and they said their Boston can't use it. It did something weird to their skin. Just keep this in mind. And I feel like this kind of goes with any type of dog breed. Whenever you're trying something new, especially any type of topical cream or their diet, it's kind of just trial and error. You're gonna have to see what works best for your dog. But in general, I have seen skin issues with Boston Terriers. Hey, if you're enjoying this video, be sure to hit like and subscribe just so you can get the latest videos from Boston Terrier Society. Okay, now I wanna cover the three things that you can ask your Boston Terrier breeder before you actually pick up your puppy. These items basically help you have more peace of mind whenever it comes to getting a healthy Boston Terrier. First thing that you can ask for is an OFA clearance on the Boston Terrier puppies parents. This way you can see, you know, if the Boston's parents have any knee issues that could potentially be genetically passed down to its offspring. And OFA simply stands for Orthopedic Foundation for Animals. The next thing that you can ask for is a surf clearance for the parent size. Once again, this is basically going to check for any genetic issues that can be passed down to the offspring. And SURF stands for Canine Eye Registration Foundation. Third thing is bear testing, where you're testing the hearing of the parents. Once again, they're testing for any deafness that can be passed down to the parent's offspring. And bear simply stands for brainstem auditory evoked response. Okay, some of you listening to this, you're going to call the breeder that you're looking at possibly getting puppies from, and they're not gonna know what these health tests are. Only a few of those higher caliber breeders are actually gonna take the time to do these tests on their Boston Terriers. I don't want that to discourage you. If you find a breeder, you like the puppy, you like the breeder, it's up to you. You can go ahead and get the dog. Emily and I, we got Bella, our Boston Terrier. We didn't ask for any of these certifications. These are there to help you make a better decision when choosing between two different Boston Terrier puppies, especially if you're concerned about spending any extra money on health issues. Now, if you still want even more peace of mind, you could look at getting pet insurance. I would say check out your employer. A lot of employers now offer some sort of health insurance to their employer's animals, and this might even be a free option for you. If you wanna get a free quote, I went ahead and put it in the show notes below. You can check out there to see what a Boston Terrier would cost you in the way of pet insurance. Emily and I, full disclosure, don't have pet insurance for Bella, but if it helps you 
by all means, check it out. Question of the day, what is the biggest concern that you have in regard to a Boston Terrier's health and why? Put it in the comments below. I'd love to see what you guys come up with. Thank you so much for watching this video. Be sure to like and subscribe if you wanna get the latest from Boston Terrier Society. And if you wanna learn why other Boston Terrier owners chose the breed, be sure to check out this video here or you can check out one of the other latest videos here. And until next time, life is better with Boston.